so I agreed to go out for, well, not go out for drinks, stay for drinks with them after our shift. And um, it was a closing shift, so it was getting kind of late. And they all go out for a smoke. So there's like five of us. So the four of them go out for a smoke. And it's just me left in the restaurant. And I just start to get really anxious. And the thought of hanging out with them just becomes more and more daunting. Like, what am I even doing here? What am I going to say? Are they actually going to like me outside of work? At work, you know, I have things to talk about. I don't have to just sort of be myself and just rely on being myself. And all of a sudden, I just find myself crouching down on the floor and I pulled up my dress and I peed on the floor by one of the tables. I just peed. I don't know what came over me. I just, I just peed on the floor. And then they came in and I was like, you guys, I smell something really weird. I think somebody might've peed in the restaurant. And they're like, that's insane. How could we not have seen that earlier? And then everybody, the mood just totally shifts and everybody's like, I don't know that I really want to hang out with you tomorrow and we just leave. So that happened this week. Everything was going so well and then I just peed. Well, I am, I'm really impressed with your resourcefulness of uh, you needed to you needed to get out of there and, and you, you found a way to, to end the interaction. So that that's, shows quite a bit of inventiveness uh, on your part. It feels really good to say it out loud, but also so bad to say it out loud because it just sort of like makes it real, you know? Whoa. I feel like oh. I've just been sitting with that <laughs> for the past few days. I just... Why did I do that? Why am I so weird? This is one of your greatest uh, fears is social interaction and, and what people will, will think about you. Um, do you feel that maybe part of this was self-sabotage? You've been getting along with them at work, things are going well, there must be something wrong with you. There must be some, you know, do, do you feel like that was playing underneath it? Yeah, I guess so. There's like an element of too good to be true. Therefore, something's going to go horribly wrong. So if I make it go horribly wrong first, at least I know that I'm in control of, of it. So I guess, yeah, that's kind of self-sabotage. Do you remember when, when we first started, um, when one of our first sessions and you told me a story of when you had broken your leg and so you were uh you didn't see anyone for about it was about two weeks three yeah. weeks and you said how how it felt so comfortable how you could get used to that and that how that scared you as well mm -hmm. you know and and i do think it's important because you can just get used to being by yourself and then all of your all of your ability to interact with people just drifts away and i could tell that max was just not impressed with brian and sure enough at the end of it brian just sort of freaked out and said he wanted nothing to do with it and left before the whole thing was over I talked to I talked to Max after and he just he helped me realize that I can't be around someone that like is so uncomfortable by people that are different than him. Mm -hmm. And like I don't know, maybe 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 Brian would have got it later, but he didn't even seem open to trying. Do you Remember Brian's initial reaction when he first found out that you were uh... yeah i uh I told him after you know a couple dates, and I think he I think he thought I was kidding at first mm. i think he, I think he thought it was like some weird joke because I don't really like look like a Satanist. I explained the like menstruation for Satan and the like fundraising and the drives that we do, and I think that he thought it was sort of just that, like it was just 
organizing for like LGBT causes and stuff like that. But, but I think that, I think he didn't realize that it's something that like I believe in, that's something that matters to me in some way. And as soon as, as soon as I started talking about it more, he like got a little uncomfortable and, and, and didn't really like to talk about it very much. He wouldn't even like ask me questions at all. And we talked a lot about your family and, and early on in life in school and, and feeling that you're constantly being judged. Uh, was Max, <clears throat> when you leave in 11th grade, I feel like he was only one of the only ones that kind of was open-minded and accepting. Is that, uh, is that fair to say? And that he offered something completely different to what yeah. you usually face? Yeah, I, I think what, what I love about Max so much is that it's, it's not like he doesn't judge me, because he does. And he yeah. like lets, lets me know when he disagrees with something or doesn't like something, but, but he knows when it's, he knows when just because he doesn't like something, that doesn't mean that it's bad. And he's able to tell me his opinion as his opinion and then move on, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm really missing from my family, especially, is that they seem to think that just because they don't like something, it's not okay. And Max is someone who can not really like something, but not really care that he doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of open-minded to other people's differences. Yeah. Like, like in a way that nobody I know nobody else I know is not, not like him. Yeah. Cause I think about it sometimes. I think about like the other people I hang out with who are all. Hey. Hi Leon. Uh, yeah. Thanks for m uh, meeting and uh, scheduling for our last meeting. Of course. Of course. Yes. <laughs> So, time sheets. Time How's sheets, that yeah. going? Yeah. I, uh, you know, I just can't seem to fill them in right, and uh, still, still can't fill them in right. I'm sorry I messed up the time last week, Leon. I. Oh, uh, you know, no, that's uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I was so awkward. As, as, so. You uh, opened up and I was wearing a kitty cat suit. I, <laughs> how could you not be awkward? <laughs> uh, no, I just, um, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, you okay? You're, you're, you're cool? Yeah, do you, we should talk about it. We should talk about uh, it. Yeah, well, if you want to talk about it, you know, it's not, uh, uh, it's not like a session or anything. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to talk about it, you can talk. Let's talk about it. I. Okay. Okay. When I went to school, um, it was later in life. I was like roaming and lost and working all these kind of piece together jobs, and I gone into a lot of debt doing this online therapy class and in the class I I met this woman who did webcamming and she made a bunch of money and that's how she was putting herself through school and I never heard of this I'm like so bad with technology I hardly even I just I just learned how to screen things yeah anyway uh, are, are you in debt do you, do you need help with debt? Uh, my wife, she she's a, a, a debt management at, at CIBC. I did not know that. Yes. So if you you need some help, I can even help. You know, we I was in debt. We were in debt. Same thing coming out of school. So if you want to, uh, you know. that's very sweet of you, Leon. I I appreciate the offer, but I I've actually worked myself out of debt. I been doing camming for about four years now. 
uh, is it like the uh, cosplay? You dress up and... Uh... Yeah, sometimes. I, you know, there's like a whole forum and people can go on there and sometimes people like me and they kind of pay to spend some time with me and mm -hmm. they ask for all sorts of things. Sometimes I'm wearing a kitty cat costume and drinking milk and sometimes I'm in full leather with a whip and sometimes I'm eating strawberries off my belly button. I mean it's like a wide variety of things and even though I'm now kind of out of debt I don't think I'm going to stop doing it. I really love it. I love it and I'm really good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. I hope, I, I don't want you to feel awkward. Uh, I, I'm cool with that. Um, you, you know, I, uh, yeah, try to be more open-minded, you know, especially after that meeting and losing my mind on Siobhan. What's up with Siobhan? Like, am I the only one? Like, I know there's just us, but like. I think Siobhan has a lot of time to think about things. You know, like, I expect that she spends a lot of time by herself. And so she probably has more time to kind of like, think up these ideas and want to try them. And mm. I think that's all it is. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. I got to be more open-minded too, so. Uh, yeah, did you, so with the timesheets, <laughs> uh, you want to meet and maybe I can uh, show you how to navigate these timesheets? In person? Uh, yes, in person. For coffee at uh, uh, Fools and Horses. This is Fools and Horses work. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, I will text you again. Thank you, Leon. All Thank right. You. I appreciate Thank it. You. All right. No problem. Thank you. Okay. I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what, what, what can I do for you? Siobhan, mm -hmm. I have had an idea. Okay. I have this friend who I think you would love and who would love you, and I want to connect the two of you. Like in a social way. Okay. Um, in, uh... I'll tell you something. He's not good with in-person. So this is going to be, you guys are going to meet, you're going to connect in the same way we're connecting right now. You don't even have to like leave your house. I think that would be, uh, I, I don't have to. <laughs> He's I, so great and you're so great and there's no reason the two of you shouldn't know each other. I just, I'm, I'm, I, oh, I just don't know if I have time uh, uh, for that and uh, I, I mean it's you know I am running a, a business and that takes up a lot of a lot of time. Yvonne you're the one who talked about work-life balance this would be balance. He's so shy he would not want to meet in person the first time anyway and this would just be an opportunity for you to get to know each other a little bit. Well, you have flummoxed me. <laughs> I feel uh, I um, very. It's a it's a, it's a lovely offer. It really is a. Uh, Let me do this. Let me do this for you, Siobhan. It just came to me today. Just today, I was like, "Why do they not know each other?" Um. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay.
I know. Uh, <laughs> I feel very silly. Uh, I feel very, very silly. Uh, Isn't that a wonderful feeling? <laughs> uh, I'm not quite used to it. Um, so what? Show them a picture of me? Not yet, but yeah, you're his type. You're his type. Uh, does he have a mustache? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't matter. I'll I, tell I him don't... to shave it. What do you want? Mustache, no mustache. Look, Siobhan. I don't want to ever impose any kind of, if, if he has a mustache or doesn't have a mustache, yes, of course. It's, he it's... doesn't have a mustache. You're going to be just fine. But don't he... worry about it. Huh? He, he can have a mustache. <laughs> I'll tell him to grow a mustache. Okay, Siobhan, this is, I'm going to set, I'm going to set the two of you up. Just see, just see if there's anything there. And if there's not, I will never try again. How about that? Is that a good deal? Yeah, yeah that sounds, that sounds, that sounds great. That sounds, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's great. It's great. It's a, it's a great okay, I love it. I got a client in five. I'm going to let you go and I will set it up. Okay. Well, okay. You have a lovely day. It's always good to see you. Oh, it's always so good to see you, Siobhan. I wish you were closer. I wish I even knew like what road you lived on. I just marched my way down there, but it's probably good that I don't. <laughs> there are some neighbors that would not take to that, but... Uh... You deliberately peed. <laughs> yeah, they're like, let's find out who peed let's on the <laughs> Let's find the little kid that peed. <laughs> so funny to watch you guys try and do that scene after you said she had seen <laughs>